Welcome back to Dream Zone Half Human Book One. We're about to start Chapter Three. Your friend Ken has some information on a new guy, David. Will you help his search for the truth? Now, the first couple chapters, we went on a date with Emily, the new girl in school. We went to Samantha's party. We saw David. David was like a robot, right? He had the blue eyes. He was puking up like Jello. Uh, we 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 took. Emily home after the party. We got our first kiss, right? Yeah. Got our first kiss from Emily. She loves us. And then we saw David get into a, like a panel van. Super sketchy. So without further ado, let's see what happens in chapter three. Let's get right into it with Half Human. Oh, the house. Okay, we're in our room. Your eyes open as you hear your father opening the door. You're still at your desk staring at your phone. Okay, so we stayed up all night. We're naked. <laughs> Why are we na We're naked. What happened? Do you fall asleep doing homework? Yeah, let's call it homework. I must have. You can remember falling asleep the night before. You can't remember falling asleep the night before. What's going on? You have a guest. Oh, is it Emily? She's going to see me naked. I got to put some clothes on. What, Emily? What do you mean, what, Emily? Does, does, does dad not know what, who, who Emily is? You want to tell me more about this Emily? Later, dad. Just leave me alone about it. Who? who? Ask me when I'm alive. <laughs> Who's our guest? You roll over and pull the covers over your head. You would have told your mother. Nuh-uh. Going back to bed. No pressure. Come on. Ken is waiting for... Oh, Ken, Ken visited me. Ken is not an early riser. Something's wrong, and you must, or you have a feeling it's about the party last night. Yeah. Sorry, I got here as soon as I could. Ken is already charging through your door. He grabs your desk chair and spins it around before taking a seat. You have no idea what he's talking about. You're just too tired to respond. Ken waits for your dad to close the door, and then he turns to you. His eyes are wide. Oh, did he see something about David? What is what? You texted me last night at 4 a.m. telling me you need, needed my help. Ken holds up a phone and shows you the message. You see the links and info that you sent him. It's about David. Don't even remember, don't even remember Jam doing that. He clearly fell down a wormhole last night. He jumped down the rabbit hole. You can feel the information sinking back. And as you read the detailed message you sent to Ken. Oh, it's about David. I know it is. It was a very long night. What part should we talk about? I'm, I'm, I'm sure that, we, that we're probably going to end up talking about each one of these. But in case that we don't, we need to pick the right one. David has a Facebook page. I found a blog about a symbol I saw. I need you to do some hacking. Oh, do we want him doing hacking? Let's tell him about the about the symbol that we found. About the about the cybernetics. I can find you blogs about Wookiees living in New Mexico and the struggles of daily life as a hairy beast in a dry climate. <laughs> Why are you losing your mind over this? Because it's real, Ken. You would too if you saw it. I need your jam help, Ken. Ken's frustrated. You can tell he's worried about you. Fine, I'm going to help you, but then we're going to put this thing behind us. Oh, I bet we're not. I bet we're not. Ken sits back down, starts to look over the pages you have open. He reads through everything carefully as you pee, uh, as, 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 as you pace the room behind him. Your heart is in your throat when he finally waves you over. Uh, what's going on, Ken? It's what you saw. It's, it's, yeah, that's, that, oh, that's it. It's exactly what we saw. Look at all those little symbols on his arm glowing blue. It's like his, it's like his battery. Almost looks like he's fully charged his jam battery. See the image again is jarring. You nod to Ken and, and he stands up. What, what's wrong? We need Tyler. It's not skeptical enough to tear your ideas apart. 
looks like all of the outfits and hairstyles are now unlocked. Oh, click the button in the right corner and choose your everyday look. Oh, so now we can choose what we look like every day. Tyler's mom rushes to the door and smiles at you as you walk into the house. Jennifer, ooh, hey, hey, hey. How you doing, Jennifer? What's up, Jennifer? I wasn't expecting to see you today. I wasn't expecting to see you either, Jennifer. Didn't really have a plan. Who's Jennifer? Is Jennifer Tyler's mom? <laughs> or is it Ken's mom? Tyler's mom is 90% of the reason that Ken wanted to head to Tyler's place. And if you're being honest, it's your reason as well. That's right, oh, Tyler's mom, smoking hot. Tyler's mom's a cougar. Please welcome, boys. Ah, oh, that's right. What's going on, Tyler? You and Ken don't move. You're too busy looking at Tyler's mom. <laughs> you know Madison's mom, Joanna. She just went out and, and, and copied my haircut. I was literally just thinking of cutting my hair, and I even told her, can you imagine? I, I can't believe it, Jennifer. I can't believe Joanna would do that. No, it'll pose her. I, Jennifer, you, you're, you're better than that, Jennifer. Tyler clears his throat loudly. <laughs> why, why did we come here again? Uh, keep talking to Tyler's mom. Politely end the conversation. Talk to, let's just keep talking to Tyler's mom. You beat her any day of the week, Jennifer. That's right. She likes to copy everything. That's because she's jealous. She's jealous of you, Jennifer. No surprise. You do look lovely. Oh, Ken's, Ken's laying down the moves. Thank you. Oh, do you use the whole name, Kenneth? Kenneth, she wants to steal my look. Tyler's mom laughs, and you all laugh along with her. <laughs> so funny. Jennifer's so funny. She's so clever and witty. Of course there's no chance she copies me. Who could copy such beauty? She laughs until she realizes you and Ken have stopped moving all together. <laughs> all right, kids. We're not kids. We're seniors now, Mom. That's right. You're big men now. That's right, Jennifer. I'm a big man. That's, that's, that's right. Talking about cups, would you like some cupcakes? I'm going to make them. Oh, I would love your cupcakes, Jennifer. I, would, I want nothing more than your cupcakes. Tyler's mom heads off in the kitchen. That's when you notice that Tyler is glaring at you. Oh, Tyler's pissed. You and Tyler look through the blog and the Facebook page. He looks up and you can see that he's still unconvinced. So what's this supposed to be? Okay, I'm going to show you this, and then you're going to tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> you show Ken and Tyler the logo's website with the symbol prominently displayed in the middle of the page. The question is, what are the chances David is a robot? 100%! 100% chance he's a robot! There's a few options to mark with some sort of spill that he wiped off his arm. You, uh, you were tripping. Or David is a robot. I wasn't, I wasn't tripping. And he didn't wipe anything from his arm. You're trying to stay calm and chase away the feeling that you've gone insane. No, definitely not. Do you want to hear my full theory? Yes. Let's hear it, Tyler. Tyler hits you with a smug look that makes you want to hit him. Should I add anything else? Explain the choking. Explain the mark. Let's, we need to explain something. Let's do the choking because there was a lot of information on the web, online, about... about Everybody choking and throwing up the the, 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 the jello. I mean, how does this person choke to death and then get up like nothing happened? Right. Tyler smirks, but uh, you cut your eyes at him and, and he stops. He gets in, he gets his hands up defensively. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hit you yet, Tyler. No fun. As some people can hold their breath for different amounts of time. They turn blue or at least red. You don't collapse from choking and then just stand up like nothing happened. Right. Have you ever seen anything like it, Tyler? No, he hasn't. So you admit that it's odd. It's definitely odd. If it happened, it, it, it damn well did happen, Tyler. You had a stopwatch? It was five minutes exact. Oh, look at you just playing semantics and cutting my theories down to just. Look, I don't know. Maybe it was seven minutes, Tyler. I don't know. You lock eyes with Tyler. You want to rip his throat out. I'm not crazy, Tyler. No 
I'm saying that. You sure see making it seem like it? Yeah, Ken. You should, Ken. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that you didn't see this thing that you think you saw. I did see the thing that I think I thought I saw. How can, prove how, how can I prove it to Tosh Shrugs? And you just kind of stare at each other, waiting for someone to solve your problem. Well, it says on Facebook that you lived in Germany, right? I think he might snap if we try to speak German with him. We'll know if he actually lived it. Yeah, true. You know, if he's a robot, he'll be able to just download the language in like half a second and he'll be able to speak it no problem. If he's a robot, he'll just download it through the Wi Fi. Guess we're doing this. You start looking up German phrases on your phone as you and your friends head over to the address on David's Facebook page. It feels like only a second has passed when you reach David's door. You still haven't thought of what to say. Where's my jam cupcake? You knock and wait for a moment. Luckily, it's David who answers the door. He doesn't seem to recognize you at all. What? It's David. Yeah, David, right? Your heart is racing. Your palms are sweaty. <laughs> Heart's racing. Palms sweaty. Mom's spaghetti all over my sweater already. You can't believe you're doing this. Okay. But he doesn't recognize. I'm looking for a German tutor. Uh, Speckensy Dutch. Ich kann sie nicht helfen. You can't understand the words, but his face is definitely saying no. <laughs> David looks fresh for a guy who should have died. I was like, he was being rebooted. It was like, it was like he was being rebooted. You look for the marking on his arms as he points with his right hand. I don't see anything. Uh, I, I, I don't know how to do it. Ich, ich ernerjitz mich dich or auf meinen Arm Auschwitz. Auschwitzen. Danke. David glares at you before slamming the door in your face. You walk back to your friends. If anybody knows what that actually says, let me know in the comments below, because I have no idea. I don't even know if I said it right. I probably, probably butchered it, because uh, I, I definitely don't speak German, um, but he definitely does. So if you guys know what that says, let me know in the comments below. What did he tell you? I have no idea. Wait, what, what did you ask him? I, I asked him to be a German tutor. Asked if he spoke spoke Dutch, spoke German. I feel like a complete fool. Says that settled? No, it doesn't settle nothing. Not even close. I know what I saw. I know what a gem saw. Walking up the road, you're still shaking when you see Madison. She's your neighbor, and your bedroom window looks directly into hers. Ooh, Madison. Would you, she's just tongue-tied looking into Madison's window when she when she doesn't know. Better not be. Hello, Madison. Try to wave, but she walks right past you. There's no way she didn't see you. Oh, is Madison a robot? She's not recognize me anymore. What's wrong with her, Jim? 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 Jerk. You sort of had a moment with Madison in summer, right? She should recognize me. We had a moment, Madison. So like peeking through my oh, tongue tied was peeking through her windows. How oh, dare you? I dare you, little little peeping Tom, tongue tied. It was just. She doesn't, ooh, she don't mind. Ooh, Madison likes it. She walks across the room and stops mere inches from you. Her lips almost touches hers. Oh, and Madison loves it. You start to smile as you think about the day with Madison. Oh, you get ready to get another card. Is it gonna be a card of Madison or is it gonna be a card of Jennifer? Oh, let's find out. Oh, it's locked up. It looks like a card of Madison, though. Let's go ahead and unlock it. We got enough gems. Oh, it's Madison. Peeping Tom, tongue-tied, looking through Madison's window. But it's, but it's okay. She, 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 she says it's okay. She, she doesn't mind it. She actually wants us to do it. It's fine. It's fine. Let's go ahead and save the picture. Now you have to tell us. I can't tell you guys about what really happened. Oh... We got the flashback. It cost 21 gen. Oh, we're, we're totally doing the flashback. We gotta find out what exactly happened. It was about a month after we got into town. She had been over at the house every day. We spent the whole day together, hanging out in the park. And when we got back home, dad was out. Oh, let's 
Oh, here we go. Madison takes your hand and leads you over to the bed. You sit together. So have you ever kissed a girl? Ooh, Madison, the questions. Obviously, I kiss girls all the time because I'm tongue-tied. I kiss girls all the time because I'm tongue-tied. Well, you've never tried to kiss me. I didn't know you wanted to be kissed, Madison. There's nothing's wrong with you, Madison. You don't need any more prompting than that. You reach over to, for her chin and bring her lips towards you. Ah, oh, Madison. Kissing on Madison. We got our first kiss from Madison. You can feel her body giving in to your kiss. She lays back on the bed as you continue to kiss her. This really happened to you. Yo, it, it's far from... It's already happening, tongue-tied. You're, you're, you're far past trying to stop. I was into you so badly since, like, the minute I saw you. Oh, Madison loves us. She wants us so bad. Did you say anything? Your kiss... You kiss your way down to it. Oh, we're going down to the neck. Going down to the neck. Why didn't you do anything? Stop talking, Madison. We're, we're, we're in this right now. Madison rolls up and you spring to attention. You let your head fall back against the bed. What? Have you ever been with a girl? Oh, Madison. Asking questions. I, 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 well, I, I don't know. I, I don't want the answer. I'm just telling you something. Ooh, what, are you, what are you trying to tell me, Madison? Madison climbs on top of you. You're still a little shocked that any of this is happening. Oh, Madison wants it. She wants it bad. She wants a piece of tongue tied like no, no one else. Well, yeah, what happened? Well, I can't believe this at this point. What happened, tongue tied? Something embarrassing happened. What? What'd you do? It wasn't a big deal, but she got really embarrassed. She picked up her clothes and ran home. Oh, tongue-tied. I just can't believe it. How could you do that? He looks at you square in the eyes for a long time. You can tell he's trying to decide if he believes you. Whatever, keep lying. This is distracting us from our purpose. He turns and starts walking down the sidewalk. You and Tyler both follow his lead believe anything I say anymore. What purpose? We need to help Tung Tai figure out what he saw that. I'm telling you, I already told you what I saw. I know it. Ken starts looking around. We need to find a place to do some research. Go into the public library, maybe? You and Tyler can see where he's going with this. Oh, we're going back to Tyler's place. <laughs> we, we need to talk to Jennifer some more. <laughs> Tyler, we gotta go back to your place. We gotta talk to your talk to your mom. <laughs> Having you animals drooled over my mother enough today. Not even close, Tyler. Ken looks over at you and you both smile. Tyler stands his ground for a second, but then he runs to catch up. Back at Tyler's house, you and Ken are faced with trouble. As soon as you walk in, oh, just Jen, Jen, I'm, I'm, I'm back for Jennifer's cupcakes. Jennifer Bird, bring me them them jam cupcakes. I, oh, I want them cupcakes. Tyler's mom is, is at the couch trying to vacuum it out. Tyler scoffs as he walks past you. Are you guys seriously staring at my mouth? Okay, yeah, it's... Oh, hi, Jennifer. Oh, it's oh, it's great to see you too, Jennifer. You, you got them cupcakes ready for me? You can only wave. Tyler pushes you upstairs <laughs> to his room. <laughs> Mom's a dream. Shut up, Ken. Yeah, he's not wrong, Jennifer. Jennifer got some, got some easy looks on you. Okay, so what are we going to do here? All right, back to business. No more talk about your mom. <laughs> okay, so what's the first thing you do if you want to implant something in your arm? Doctor, sure, sure, sure. Check yourself into a mental war. <laughs> Not funny. I thought it was funny. Anyway, anyway, okay. Tell me what you do. Google it. So we need to check his browser history. Well, why wouldn't you just delete his browser history? Why wouldn't he just delete it? Right, right. If he was smart enough, he would just delete it. But then, if he's a robot and deletes his browser history, maybe it makes him forget everything. Oh. Look at him, doesn't he, he, he doesn't look like a man who clears his browser history. When I use cookies, I clear all the browser history, so I, so do I look like that person? Are you, are you glowing blue? You glowing jam blue, Tyler? Can use his laptop and starts to type. His fingers look like just a blur in front of the keyboard. 
I'm just going to hack into his email. It'll only take a second. All right, Ken, hack away. You don't know how to do that. <laughs> yes, he, yes, he does. You obviously don't understand the concept of back door. You don't either. You'd have to hack the school's database and then access. Ken chuckles to himself as he keeps typing commands into the computer. His final keystroke lands with a flourish, and David's search history opens on the screen. Oh, Ken, you champion! He's in. You learn how to do this. This summer, opening his browser history. Scaring me. It means he can get in any of our stuff. Ken scrolls down the list of sites. You all stare at the screen, memorized, mesmerized by the treasure Ken has uncovered. Where to travel in Brazil? Rates of microabsorption and no point. <laughs> Ken, no porn, that's that's super sus. No porn is super sus. Ken closes the laptop in disgust. David seems like a model student. Teenage boy with no porn on his browser is super suspicious. He has a girlfriend. It doesn't matter. Nothing stops his house. Mom enters the room holding out a tray of full treats. Oh, she brought her cupcakes. Jennifer with the cupcakes. Oh, I love it. Bring them cupcakes over here. She sets a tray on Tyler's desk and walks out as you all rush to grab a cupcake. <laughs> and you sit back and enjoy the treats. You get a text from Emily. She's asking to meet with you. Oh, Emily loves me. She wants to see me again. Why is she asking you out? Because she loves me. Why are you guys so surprised? I'm amazing. I need to explain a few things to these guys. Okay, our relationship is sincere. She's not like the others. Girls usually text me, you know. So, uh, yeah, I think... um. I think she's just she's not like she's not like the others. She's special. She's special to me. You reach out and grab Ken and Tyler by the shoulders, giving them a hearty shake. She's not like the other girls. How do you know? Come on, give the boys some props. That's right. Give me some props. Can you can I tell you're just jealous? Oh, jam jealous. You leave Tyler and head straight home. That evening you get ready to see Emily. Yes. That's when you hear your tablet going off. Oh, it's Kate. Hi, Kate. I'm, I'm here. Only for like a second, though. I, I got some plans. I gotta go see Emily. I have a date with Emily. That's right. Oh, what are you gonna wear? Send me a selfie. Oh, we're getting, we're getting ready to pick out some more clothes. It'd be great. Do you want a video chat? Oh, it's video chat. Just send a pic. Oh, you just want, you just want the pics. I just need to pick out an outfit and send a selfie to Kate real quick. I want to look my best, right? All right, so what are we going to do? So this is this is just normal, just with a little hoodie. We got a we got a, a Letterman jacket. It's got some patches on there. Okay, okay. And we got this one. It's got, what, what is that? Skulls and, what are we, the, I don't like it. It's too, too much, too flashy. Let's go with this. Let's go with the standard Letterman going letterman jacket let's confirm yes we're gonna look amazing oh we got new hair got got jam new hair i mean i i don't know if i want to do any different hair i like the hat i like the hat i like the hat look yeah i'm gonna stick with the hat look let's just let's just stay with the hat look i don't even recognize the person in the mirror oh, i'm so jam cool you send off the photo and wait for a response Oh, Kate loves it. She says, I look hot. I'm so sexy. I'm too sexy for my shirt. That's right, really. She loves it. You look at yourself in the mirror one more time. Yeah, check it out. I'm definitely ready. You know, let me get to the cafe and start to look over the menu. You look really nice. Thanks, Emily. You look stunning yourself. I like that you tried. Most guys just wear whatever and nobody cares. I think everyone should spend time on their look. I would, I always look good for you, Emily. Always gonna look good. You smile at each other over your menus. Emily looks down again and you just watch her smile as she reads over the items. It all looks so jam good. It's so delicious. It's all so good. Do you come here? I, I've never, not even once. Not once. It's the first time I've been here with you, Emily. I was gonna ask what is good. I, I just don't know. It's hard to mess up an Americano. Oh, hello, Madison. 
Hi, Madison. My name's Madison. I'll be... Are you kidding? Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. It's Madison. Our neighbor. Hi, Emily. Can I take your... Oh, she knows Emily. Madison smiles widely at Emily. It's clear that she is... Uh, she is a welcome here. Why is she being such a bitch? Oh, Madison, you're being such a jam bitch. She, she already snubbed me in the streets. Now she's snubbing me now? What the hell? I'm going to go to with a cafe Americano. Okay, okay. Coming right up. Where's mine? Madison walks away without taking your order. You, oh, you, you, you jerk. It's really weird. That was weird. Something happened between you two. Look, we had we had a, we had a thing. We had a thing a while back. I don't know, Madison. Madison didn't ruin my chances with Emily. Look, assure Emily that things totally ended with you. Look, things just look. Something happened a while back. I was looking through her window. I saw her getting changed, but she was cool with it. And then and then we kissed, and something embarrassing happened. She ran away, back to her house. I don't know, something like that, right? You look deep in Emily's eyes. You want her, want her to know you're serious. <laughs> there was a thing and it, it didn't end well. She's not done with you. No, she's not. Apparently not. There's nothing going on between us. Believe me. Maybe not for you, but she's still into you. Oh, Madison still loves me. Emily's blowing your mind right now. How can Madison be into you? I, I don't even understand it. I'm not so sure she hated me. How can you tell? No, they just know. How does that make any sense? She's going to be a jerk to me because she likes me? Yeah, just like boys, when they like girls, they pull their hair and flick them, right? They flick their ears, pull their hair. It's because they like them when you're little kids. You don't know how to express it. You don't know how to express your feelings, so you start, you start making fun of them. I didn't say that. I can tell she likes you, though. Okay, what makes you think that, Emily? She has a funny way of showing it. If she didn't like you, she wouldn't just take your order. If she didn't like you, she would just take it. Is that true? Like, if she didn't like me, she would just take my order? Like, I would assume, like, if she didn't like me, she'd snub me like she's been doing. I don't know what's going on from her end. But I have no feelings for her. I'm so past it. I'm not into her. Oh, I'm into you, Emily. There's a new girl at school and she's absolutely perfect. That's right. You watch the realization wash over Emily's face. That's right. I do mean you, Emily. I'm just trying to be. I just, just trying to be cute. Ah, oh, I'm super cute. Super cute. So I will order a big plate and we can share it. Ah, oh, Emily is so thoughtful. That's perfect. The rest of the day goes great. You talk about everything from the party to the future. You feel like they're like you're really connecting. Bike repair shop. It doesn't have to be that. I just want to be my own boss. Oh, we talk about the future. I guess that's important to you. That's right. I don't want to be told what to do. I want to be able to tell other people what to do. I just see the the way my dad's employers treat him. They call him night and day. It's like they own his soul. Sounds bad, right? You gotta be your own boss, right? That's that's like the goal in life. Be your own boss. Do your thing, and and, and make and make money, right? Make 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 all the money. Be able to live and, and be your own boss. That, that, oh, that'd be awesome. That'd be amazing. You want to own your own soul. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I want to be able to. I want to be able to do what I want to do and make money at the same time. That that just and and, and make enough to be able to live well, right? I don't need to be rich and famous. I just want—I just want to make enough to be happy. Or maybe I could share my soul with the right person. Yes, I, I, I just want to share my soul with one other person. And what would this right person look like? Oh, it looked like this girl named Emily. She'd be a blonde, that's for sure. What about her personality? Very smart and caring. I think she'd be funny, witty, and I don't know, humble. She wouldn't be full of herself, even though she would have the right to be. Sounds like she would be amazing. She is amazing. Yes, she is. It's cute. Here's the bill. Madison's pissed. You jump up as she slams the bill. 
<laughs> that table, she is pissed. This is her first date with a bill. Oh, I have to I have to make the right move. Go to the toilet at the moment. Check arrives. <laughs> Offer to pay for everything or split the bill. So it is gonna cost us 21 gems to pay for everything. Hmm. Or do we split it? I mean, equal is equal, right? Right? We, we, we should all have the right to be equal, but... You know, hell, she asked me out on a date. She should have to pay. And that's how it goes, right? Whoever asked to, to go on the date should pay, but... It's our it's our first date with a bill. I'll be the, I'll, I'll, I'll be the gentleman. I'll, I'll offer to pay for everything. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. When I, when I take a lady out, I treat her right. Well, maybe we should have dessert then, Mr. Big Spender. Maybe we should. Maybe we should. I mean, oh, Emily, do you want to? Do you want to be the dessert, Emily? Oh ho ho ho! Oh, Emily wants to be the dessert. As Madison sees how macho you are, she'll be all over you. <laughs> Emily's teasing you a bit, but you can tell she's a little impressed won't help why is that girls everywhere want me that's right tongue tied every every all, all girls all over the place they all they want is a piece of tongue tied it's right it's hard to live like this well then i gotta get you someplace secluded Ooh, that sounds amazing you were trying to flirt with her but the last one got you it was something in her eyes it really looked like she meant it that sounds nice. Sounds real nice. Let's go ahead and get somewhere secluded. That's what you say the first time. Sorry, I got distracted there. I was lost in your eyes for a minute. When did you get so smooth? Oh, I'm, I've, oh I've always been smooth. It's smooth as peanut butter. Smooth as butter. I swear it's not, not a line. I mean, I know it sounds like, but I, I really did. Now you're both blushing. Aren't you so cute? Oh, Madison's pissed. She doesn't like it at all. I just need to pay. I'll get the machine. <laughs> Madison doesn't come back, but another way just helps you. You pay the bill and leave the cafe. Madison's pissed. Once again, you make it to Emily's house way too early. This is my house? Yes, I know. I know. I've been here once before. I know it might sound weird, but I wish you lived further away. That, that, that way we could spend more time. Emily seems nervous as she stands with her hand on the knob of the door. Oh, is she going to invite me in? I like spending time with you. Well, I thought maybe you'd want to come up to my room. That's Oh, yes, let's do it. No questions asked. We're, we're going up to Emily's room. Your heart feels like it's going to burst right out of your chest. Oh, are your parents okay? The parents aren't even home, I bet. The only ones here. Oh, the, oh, it's perfect. All right, boys and girls, we're all, we're going up. All right, boy. I've been preparing for this moment my whole life. I got this. Oh, 17 gen. Oh, that's that, that's a bargain at any rate. We're doing it. Let's go. Oh, we're in Emily's room. It's a little, little messy, Emily. You need, you need to pick up that blanket. Put the blanket back on the bed and, 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 and nicely. Walking out of his room and stand awkwardly at the door. She sits down on the bed and leans back. She looks so inviting. You walk around the room for a minute, pretending to look at pictures. <laughs> you must be dreaming. Emily seems much more relaxed now that you're in her room. So what do you think of my room? Oh, it's amazing. You want a spelling bee? Oh, it's so smart. The room is really nice. You turn back to her and, and she charges at you. Emily pins you to the wall with a passionate kiss. Oh, Emily's taking charge. Taking a piece right out of tongue tied. Emily pulls back and looks into your eyes. Always wanted to try it. Hoo hoo hoo, Emily. Get my motor running, Emily. You kiss her back and lay, lay her down on the bed. Her skin feels delicious in her hand in your hands. Oh, so delicious. Is it too early to try? I want to please her. Oh, what are we? Oh, what are we gonna do? What the hell? If we're gonna shy away, we're going right ahead. Jump right into it. You can feel the rumble of your voice in your body. 
She's so into it. She can't even focus on you kissing. Hold me. Oh, I'll hold you. I'll hold you. And he rolls into your arms. Your hands wrap around her neck. Ooh, it's getting hot and heavy. Emily's driving you wild. And you feel powerful. Emily cries out and collapses on the bed. Just hold me. Of course. Can you feel my heart beating? Of course I can. Emily puts her hand over her heart. You can feel it pounding against your hand. It felt amazing. She curls up with her head on your chest. I'm glad that I met you. I'm, 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 I'm glad I met you too, Emily. You have no idea how glad. You stare at the ceiling and revel in the feeling. Emily's loud snore. <laughs> Emily's loud snore breaks through the silence. She, she's done. She's out. She's done. You get a pillow to put under under her head and tuck her in. Aw, such a gentleman. Put her to sleep. That's a good thing. She can't even handle me. <laughs> can't even can't even handle tongue-tied. Kissing her forehead, you leave the room. I hope we'll spend a night together soon. A morning shower with Emily would be amazing. Aw, you, you jam right. Jam right it would be amazing. So, oh, we're about to get another card. What are we going to get? Oh, boy. 35 gems to unlock. It's a bargain at any rate. Ooh, look at her go. Oh, she did the morning shower with Emily. Got a little fog in the wrong, all the wrong places there. Just get the, 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 the gem fog. Oh, let's go ahead and save that picture. You walk home feeling good about your date. You only wish you could have had more time with Emily. You consider calling her as soon as you got home. You can't stop thinking about her. The next day at school, you and Tyler both get a message from Ken. He asks you to meet him in the cafeteria. Cafeteria. So how did last night go? Oh, it's amazing. How did you? How do you think it went? I had Emily with me. It was magical. Details? Oh, you, you, oh, you want the details? You want all the? Oh, Dave's girlfriend Erica is coming in with Erica. Who's Erica? Why, why would I care about Erica? You don't think she might know something about him? And I don't know. Be a robot as well? Oh, is Erica a robot? Ken points at a girl and stands up, ready to stop her. You must ask her about David. Fine, uh, fine, I'll ask her about David. What do I say? Ask how David's feeling. Ask, let's ask how David's feeling from when he was getting sick. Might might bring up some uh some 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 some, some details. Do I know? Oh, Erica, you know, you don't know me, but I know David. I just saw David at the party the other day. He seemed a little off. He was puking in the bushes before smiling a face, but it only seems to make the situation worse. Erica tries to leave. Don't go. Wait. You touch Erica's shoulder and she spins around on you quickly. Oh. I still normal. What is this about? Does David ever seem off to you? Like, I don't know, cyborg like? <laughs> Erica, take a second to look at all of your faces. She's not sure how to respond, so she goes right to rage. She's pissed. Dumb jerk. You and Tyler turn on Ken, turn on Ken, and Erica storms off. What the hell, Ken? Did that for me? What do you mean, did that for me? Erica comes back into the cafeteria, leading David over to where you're standing. Uh-oh. David's, up. David's probably going to be pissed, too. It's a creep guy who asked about you. She points to Ken, but David goes right for you. He looks ready to rip your head off. You want peace of, you, you want peace of me, big boy? You want peace of me, big boy? I, I'll take you on, David. Why is, it, why is it always you? Because you're a jam robot, David. David snarls at you as he, as he grabs for your collar. His other fist cocked behind him well, there you guys have it that was chapter three and oh boy boy oh boy we uh we had our first with emily another first she led us up into the room did a little bit of this did a little bit of that a little bit of skibby da ba ba boo ba da ba doo a little bit of brown chicken brown cow and an amazing night Unfortunately, the episode ended in probably getting our asses handed to us by David. However, very good episode, very good chapter. 
Hope you guys are enjoying Half Human so far. If you are, hit that like button, leave a comment down below, subscribe to the channel for more, and be ready for chapter four. As always, thanks for watching. Love you all. And we'll see you next time. Goodbye.